I hope for a black and white remake. Um, I'm hoping really badly for a Mystery Dungeon announcement. I want a new Mystery Dungeon game. And black and white remakes would be cool. But I'm still on the boat. I think it's going to be Let's Go Generation 2. I think they're going to wait till they're going to wait another little bit of time for black and white, I think. And then obviously there's going to be announcements for Pokemon Sleep, probably a new area. Pokemon Unite's probably going to get like two or three new Pokemon added to it. It's roster. Uh they're obviously going to have something for Cafe, which I don't even play any of those games. Uh, Masters, if I didn't say that already, is probably going to get something, which I'm surprised that one's still around. Pokemon Go is probably going to have something. Um, and then... I wouldn't be surprised if just like last time they do a last minute showcase of like just the starters for Gen 10. Is that what we're on now? Generation 10? Yeah, but Pokemon Go first. All right, watch it be a Gimme Ghoul event. I kind of secretly hope it. And a Pokemon collaboration Horizons. event with Pokemon Go is on its way. Lico, Sprigatito. Pikachu wearing Caps hat is making its debut. It even knows an attack new to Pokemon Go: Volt Tackle. Ooh, Sarah Ledge. Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are coming too. And Liko and nice. Roy will be dropping in when you snap a pick and go snapshot. So set out on an adventure with your new friends. Is Craxley secretly the least favorite of the three for Gen 9? Is that why they don't have it coming with a person? Oh, Pokemon Sleep. Here, we're getting a new area for sleep. Watch. I did Pokemon Sleep for like a week and then I fell off of it. Pokemon Masters, yeah. I never got into this game. I never give up. We're just getting started. We're the greatest in the world. You're the greatest and strongest partner I could ask for. Fight! Pokemon Cafe next, I bet. Yes, Pokemon Cafe. Have you slept already, bro? Yeah, I slept. I went to bed at like 1 a.m. I went to bed early today because I knew that uh, they had the presents in the morning, so I wanted to stream it this year. I didn't do it last year. Pokemon Unite. This is a good game, but I don't play it, to be honest. Right. Oh man, Phalanx is joining? See it? There you go, that's one. Sarah Let's nice.
Oh, you can actually play as Mirai then. Okay, I thought he was gonna be one of the bosses in the middle, like uh, Zapdos. Do you play Unite as real? All right, now we get on to the big stuff. We did. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Uh -huh. I'm trying to see if this is like a game or just card collections. Oh, nice. I got very excited about that Moltres. be a good way for me to learn how to play the TCG because I've never played it. I wish we can actually play this game on mobile. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mystery Dungeon. I'm calling it. What you just saw was the world's first look at Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996, but in a new digital format. The Pokemon Company is developing you know this game as a three-party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon Trading Card Game, and DNA are partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. I didn't even know they used to have to a the TCG title, app. Here's a message from Mr. Yuji Kitano, when did they stop it? President and CEO of Creatures. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Hello everyone, I'm Yuji Kitano from Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon Trading Card Game. With Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, we hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon Trading Card Game, so we are hard at work developing digital cards. When we develop physical cards, we strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and printing process. Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible digitally, such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards. That's a nice card. Which give players the experience of leaping into the world of the card illustration. What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing battle system, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. Our three companies are all working hard to deliver a fun experience for those of you who already enjoy the Pokemon trading card game as well as those who've never played before. We hope you look forward to the results of our latest efforts in the world of the Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Thank you so much. They definitely do a great job at Thank making you, the cards Sano. look good. We plan to launch Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket within 2024. Please look forward to more details in the future. Just one more thing. We'd like to end today's presentation with one final video for you all. Thank you for tuning in. Alright, here we go.
mid-season refresh. Let's see if it's Let's Go or let's see if it's um, Gen 5 remakes. But I'm telling you, it's Gen 2. That's why they got the unknowns all over. So, yo. I can't even read that. Is Gen 2? Yeah. Now the question is if it's just a regular Gen 2 or if it's Let's Go. And it's a little disappointing that there's nothing from uh, Mystery Dungeon. Oh no, it's no way it's Legend Celebi. It's Legend Celebi. Let's go. I'm calling it. Maybe not anymore. It looked like it for a second with the drawing because it looked like Arceus, but now it doesn't look like it. Oh, but that's Gen 5, right? That's... Oh, I know. Burf probably is like Gen 6 or something. Just on this action. I don't know, there it's all over the place. Lumio City. Urban redevelopment plan. Pokemon Legends Z. It's a Gen 5 Pokemon Legends game. That's crazy. So what is what is X and Y? That's Gen 6, right? So they skipped 5. So we'll get Gen 10 and then we'll get Gen 5. Yeah. And they're bringing back Megas. That's crazy. Hey, but I think Legends game is high quality, so I think it's a I think that's a big win. Cuz that's the symbol for Mega. This is the Hey, so what are the thoughts overall? Yes, Legends is great. Yeah, Legends Arceus. We got to go back and play it at some point. Day 1 must buy. Oh, that's a day 0 pre-order right there. So how are we feeling? No Mystery Dungeon, no Gen 5 remakes, a little disappointed on that, but I mean, it's Pokemon, should you ever be, have high expectations? You haven't even played Arceus yet? I played it off, off stream, I beat the game. Well, I didn't beat it, I got all the way up to what is essentially the last boss in, in Legends. Um, I didn't complete the Pokédex yet, so I didn't get to face Arceus. I beat Arceus. Okay, yeah, so I... Um, my profile got deleted, but I made it all the way up to battling, um, what's his name? The dude with the yellow hair. Right before, it, it's, it's like the really tough battle before Gertina. 24, okay. This is a great Pokemon day for me. Oh yeah, very happy about Legend Z. That was not expected at all. I mean, I guess, <coughs> based off of all the talk about it being, <coughs> oh wait, is... Paldea connected to Gen 6 or Gen 5? Because I know there was a lot of, like, talk in the leaks about Zygarde, so that's probably what it is. I've been wanting Gen 6 on Switch. Heck yeah. And then we'll probably get an announcement for Gen 10 next year, and then after Generation 10, it'll be a Gen 5 remake. Heck